just an example of a question that uses Hess's law. So we're looking here for carbon in the form of graphite plus some oxygen gas to give us carbon monoxide gas. And we don't know the enthalpy change for this reaction. But what we do know is that graphite and oxygen can also make carbon dioxide. And we know that carbon monoxide and oxygen can make carbon dioxide. So we have some information here that we can rearrange to find out the enthalpy change for this equation. So what we're looking at first of all is identifying where we've got the reactants. So here I'm looking for the graphite. Now that's in this equation here. So what I can see is this is a reactant. It's on the left side of my equation here. And it is in this equation as well. So I'm going to use this equation in this forward direction as it's written. What I can also see is that I have one mole of carbon here and one mole. So I don't need to multiply my equation. So this one I can use as is. The next one I'm going to look for the product made. So I have oxygen here. This doesn't pinpoint which equation. Um, but what I am going to focus on next is the carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide is here. It's formed as a product. And I can see carbon monoxide over here as a reactant in the second equation written in blue. So what I need to do is I now need to write this equation going this way instead so that carbon monoxide is considered a product. So I can reverse this equation and if I write it out again I can write carbon dioxide can become carbon monoxide gas and oxygen gas and that would have an enthalpy change of positive 283 kilojoules per mole. So if you reverse the order of the equation, you reverse the sign on the enthalpy value. Because if we are forming carbon dioxide, this is how much energy is given out. But if we're using carbon dioxide to make these products instead, it's the same amount of energy that's used to drive the reaction. So that's energy out and energy in. That's exothermic and endothermic. But otherwise, we can see we have the same, we just have the reverse of the bonds being broken and formed, whether we go forwards or backwards in that reaction. Now let's have a look. Now I have carbon monoxide is over here on the products side. So it is a product, we can use this one. And I can see the molar ratio is the same. One mole of carbon monoxide, one mole of carbon monoxide here. So I can use these two equations to find this one. So let's write out what information we have and see if our other parts cancel out or if we need more information. So we have carbon, which is in the form of graphite here and oxygen gas. So I collect together all of my reactants from here. And then I write all my products. So I've left some space, but I've ticked off all of these three things. And that's minus 394. And now I'm only going to use this second version, this flipped version of this equation in blue. So I don't need to worry about this one anymore. I'll use this one. Now here, reactants, I write it on the reactant side of the equation. And products. Sorry, my markers are getting a little bit blunt. Okay, so I've written here reactant and products and that was positive 283 kilojoules per mole. Now I'm going to have a look and see if I can cancel anything out. So here I've got carbon dioxide, reactant side, and on the other side of the arrow, products, one carbon dioxide, one carbon dioxide. Uh, graphite, this stays the same. Carbon monoxide, can't cancel. Oxygen, I have one mole and I have half a mole. Well, I can take half a mole away here and take half a mole from one to leave half. So if I rewrite this now, I should have these three things left. Carbon, graphite, and half a mole of oxygen. 
to give a mole of carbon monoxide. And that is the same as my original equation that I'm looking for. And the enthalpy change here is going to be the two values added together. So negative 394 and positive 283 together make minus 111. And we're talking about per mole of graphite here, the carbon, so we can put kilojoules per mole there as well. And that's question, that question finished.